Yo, what's up? Hey guys, so today I thought I'd do a video and I know most of my videos I don't look put together, but my niece just did my makeup. And I thought, you know what, whatever, I'm just going to do a video anyways, it doesn't really matter. Um, and you like my sweater? Oops, sorry. It's really pretty. But today I'm going to be talking about Freddie E and, um, yeah, so I was just... This morning I woke up and people were talking about Freddie E. Rest in peace, Freddie E. Honestly, I haven't watched this video in a long time, so I kind of forgot a little bit, which I feel horrible for. But then my cousin called me up because, you know, she knows I like the YouTube and stuff. And she was like, you know, the YouTuber Freddie E died. And I was like, no. Because I watched this video, like, literally yesterday. But I didn't really remember his name, though. And it's just sad. And one thing I want to say is that he basically was calling out for help. In most cases, if a person going to commit suicide or do one of those massacre shootings, they always let a person know it has been proven scientifically because they're basically crying out for help. A person who commits suicide, they don't want to die. I mean, if they, I mean, they don't really want to like die. It's just that they really want help. They are put in a situation that makes them feel like the only solution is to kill themselves, and I should know. And Obviously, he was, it's just sad. So I feel like a person, if he was on Twitter where he has billions, not billions, but thousands of subscribers, someone could have, I, I don't really know how he could have physically helped, but I bet one of his friends from the hometown seen it. They could have, or I just feel like he was crying for help and no one really did anything to help him. People could have, you know, maybe talked him out of it. I don't know. I just feel like when someone commits suicide, I honestly feel like, it's kind of my fault. Not my fault. But if I seen it and I know I didn't do anything about it, I'd feel horrible. Even though I didn't put the gun to that person's head or whatever they did, I'd feel horrible. And I just want to say that he was a very talented person and kind of cute. But, um, <laughs> um, he was a handsome dude, okay? And that's not the only reason why. Hey? No one should kill himself. I just feel like it's sad. And we have one more person taken off this planet, this cruel world. But, um... I mean, now he's in heaven, so, um, I can't really do it, <laughs> whatever. But, um, it's just sad to see one of my, you know, fellow YouTubers, because I am a YouTuber, kind of dear to my heart, because I know if any, you know, if I was to somehow die or something, that, I don't know, whatever. I don't even have that much subscribers, but I just want to say rest in peace, Freddie E, and to everyone saying that he killed himself over his girlfriend, like, you guys need to learn, like, he didn't t say why he killed himself. He didn't let anyone know. So don't try and sit here and tell everyone why he killed himself. When, like, people are asking, well, what happened, what happened? And then people want to put their two cents in and be like, oh, well, he killed himself over his girlfriend. No, you don't know that for sure. You really don't. So don't sit here and be like, oh, he killed himself over a girl. Because then, then you make him look like he had no sense, which honestly is not the case. Like, people just need to focus on the aftermath and you know praying and hoping he rests in peace and you can have your own opinion about it but don't sit here and try and give facts that you can't support or back up because you don't know why he killed himself I doubt any of his subscribers really do unless they're really close to him. I don't know whatever I just want to say rest in peace Freddie E and um happy holidays <laughs>